Let's look at sample exam question number one in the Salesforce Administrator Certification Exam Guide. And that first question says, what should a system administrator use to disable access to a custom application for a group of users? Now, they specified to choose one answer. One thing to note right off the bat, and I get this question often, I want to answer this as well, is that in the actual exam, they will tell you how many answers you need to select, whether it's one, two, three, or four. Sometimes it's multiple select, and you need to select the three correct answers. This particular example, there's only one correct answer, and so it says choose one answer. In the actual exam, they will specify if you need to select more than one answer, and if so, how many you need to select, so you won't be left guessing. So now our options here for these answers are either A, profiles, B, sharing rules, C, web tabs, or D, page layouts. And remember, we're trying to disable access to a custom application for a group of users. And so if you think about this, we're trying to take away access, and that would be to a custom application. And if you think about in Salesforce Classic, the application drop down in the top right of the screen. The way that you can control the access to that is through profiles. And so let me pull up the system administrator profile and show you where that's actually done. And another thing to bear in mind is that sharing rules open up additional access. Web tabs are tabs that give you access to certain web functionality or certain app functionality and wouldn't relate. And then page layouts is where you can control the page layout or how a page appears, but that wouldn't be used to disable access to a custom application. All right, so I'm in a Salesforce instance, and this is an instance that I use to record my platform app builder course. And I've got a custom application opened up called the IMDB clone app. That's an application that we built throughout the duration of that course. I chose to uh, use this particular org because in that uh, particular course, we did create a custom app. Now in this administrator certification course, we don't go through the process of building a full-blown application because it's not really relevant to the admin exam. And so I wanted to show you how this works as far as restricting access to a custom app. And then as well, I recently logged into this org in order to update a lecture, and so it's in my history and easy for me to access. So kind of uh, killing two birds with one stone here, I wanted to show you this in this particular org. So if I go to Profiles and go to System Administrator Profile, which is my own profile that I have, and you could adjust this for any profile in your org, and we're just making sense of this exam question, this practice exam question, and I wanna show you where this is done in the real world in the interface. And we are in Salesforce Classic, and you notice the Winter 18 release here. And so we've got our app permissions, and then we also have our settings that specify which apps are visible in the app menu, which is assigned apps. Now, we wouldn't do the app permissions. That's permissions to perform app-specific actions within an app, for example, such as manage call centers. We want to go into assigned apps, and this is what controls what apps are available to our particular profile. And so you notice we've got the IMDB clone app here, and it's visible as the default app for my profile. So if I click Edit, I can remove access by changing the default app to a different app. So I'm just going to make that default app the community app instead. And then for IMDB clone, I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to click save. So now I've restricted access to a custom app for a group of users by accessing the profile and going to assigned apps and unchecking the IMDB clone app. Now you notice here that this updated automatically to community and so if I click on this down arrow here to try and access the IMDB clone app, I don't have access to it any longer. And then as well, the way this looks in Lightning, let me show you that real quick, is you go to the app launcher in Lightning. And so this works for Classic or for Lightning. And so if we click on the app launcher, we should not see IMDB clone app. And I don't see it here anywhere. And so we've effectively restricted access to a custom application by adjusting our app settings. And so we're going to go through some of these other sample exam questions in the duration of the administrator course here, wherever they come into play and wherever they're relevant to the topics that we just covered as we continue on in the course. And we'll see you in the next lecture.